All right, Benji, so you tweeted about this, but I want you to walk our viewers through exactly what happened. So you were contracted to speak at a conference. How far in advance did they book you? Yeah, they booked me a few months uh, in advance, actually. But it was actually about a month like, a month ago, so a month and a half ahead of time. I was meant to do an Instagram, Instagram Live event, uh, and it was supposed to happen this Friday. And then I guess those two tweets really turned them off, and they, they, they said that I was being racially insensitive. And you know, that was really frustrating to me because I actually have been a very outspoken advocate um, in favor of uh, you know reforming uh, the police system and, and, and making sure that equality is at the forefront of our discussions in 2020. And so as a climate activist and a conservative, being attributed to those tweets and, and being called racist was you know, a shock to me. And I actually, you know, didn't even know what to do about it at first. Right. Well, it's a personal affront. That's what the left does, by the way. So try not to take it personally, because that's what they do, do when they're threatened by your politics. They come after you in a personal sense because they don't have any facts to actually counter your arguments. But I find this interesting because your organization, the American Conservation Coalition, takes more of a traditionally leftist view on climate change compared to the views of the Republican Party. So they had to be aware this climate change um, event had to be aware of what your other other conservative viewpoints were before they booked you, correct? Exactly. And I think that it just kind of further it explains why there needs to be an alternative climate change movement, because for a very long time, climate change has been about winning political points for the left and actually has not been about actually getting something done on a very important issue that's important to me as a young environmentalist. And it's a generational issue that both sides care about. And it's not a political issue for younger generations. And so I've had people from both sides in my generation reaching out and saying, this group canceled you because of this? This looks more like political gaslighting rather than a, a racial insensitivity. Right. Uh, but to your point, it, they, they did know what my political viewpoints were. So it was very confusing.